Happy Friday. Uh, you may notice the casual look today. It's because we've had a we've had a busy, busy week, and I decided to leave the blazer at home. Uh, if you didn't know that school had started and we're back to normal in Lubbock, let me just give you a snapshot of what this week's been like. Two ribbon cuttings at financial institutions. I uh, had a chance to welcome some tech grad students. We also welcomed a brand new uh, tech faculty member, uh, Dr. Herrera Estrella, who's a, uh, the, uh, a National Academy of Science uh, member. He's the premier cotton genome uh, expert in the world. He'll be moving his research team here to Texas Tech. It's, a, it's exciting. It's something that Tech partnered with the governor's office uh, uh, to, to build a package to incent them to come here. Speaking of the governor, we had the governor in town on Wednesday. It was, it's good to spend some time with Governor Abbott. We've had two different football kickoffs, one from the Chamber of Commerce, one from the Red Raider Club. They were both a lot of fun. I think we're ready for football. We topped out Buddy Holly Hall. We put the, the beam on and had that ceremony on, on Wednesday of this week. That was exciting. Uh, we had a United Way kickoff yesterday. And finally, last night, we had our Lubbock City Council meeting. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a thing or two in between there, but that's a bit of what's going on. I want to dig into a couple of things that, uh, in more detail. First of all, at our council meeting last night, one of the things we approved was we accepted a grant from the federal government regarding the airport. We're doing some work at the airport today. What we're doing today is, is a consolidated rental car facility. You've seen that we've changed the parking. We're building a new rental car building. It'll be much more convenient. Uh, uh, and it's better for travelers. Uh, it makes, you know, makes us a more uh, attractive place to travel. It's, uh, and then we're also, we, last night we accepted a grant from the government uh, that will help us with our terminal project. Now remember the airport self-sufficient. So that grant is passenger fees that we've collected here that have gone to the government coming back to us. And we will spend uh, between 30 and $40 million on the terminal starting next year. Remember this terminal was built in 1976 or opened in 76. So it's been 42 years. By the time we start, it'll be nearly 43 years old. It will get a complete update. More details on that when, when we, as we move down the road, but that's something that we can look forward to. Uh, finally, on, we had a, uh, I didn't mention it earlier, but we had a press conference this week at, for LEDA, Luck, Lubbock Economic Development Alliance. That's our, our, our EDC, our, our Economic Development Corporation. And just to share some good news, so let me just hit the highlights on that. We, we announced that a, a division of DuPont Dow will be locating to the rail port uh, north of the airport. It'll bring uh, uh, 11 new jobs. These are, these are research jobs, very, very good jobs. We're excited about that. SitePro is a startup that came out of Texas Tech. You may remember hearing it called AmpliSign. They've changed their name to SitePro. They, do so they, they write software that helps in the oil and gas business. That simplifies it. It's much more in, deep, in, in detail than that. But they're up to 70 employees. Uh, we've helped them as they've grown. They've added 34 just since the beginning of this year. Uh, we had some uh, news from Sun Gold Foods. They're the uh, folks that, that process sunflower seeds. Nearly any sunflower seed you buy is, uh, comes through their plant. They operate 24-7. Uh, they uh, uh, have added uh, 20 new jobs this year. They actually impact, uh, made a big change to their pay scale. They've uh, found that to get the kind of workers they're looking for in a competitive job market, they're having to pay more. These are very good jobs with benefits. Uh, we also heard from Hydrite Chemical Company. Hydrite moved here about two years ago, opened an oil and gas division. Hydrite's an 89-year-old, privately held business based in the Midwest. They, they're in food processing, they're in uh, uh, typical chemical business. They do many things, but they had never been in the oil and gas business. They've opened a, a division in Lubbock. One of the things we're seeing is that we're positioned very well for people who want to service the Permian Basin, but might not want to be right in the middle of it. Uh, it's jobs, uh, we have a better workforce than they, than they do down there. It's, there's available housing here. It's a little less affordable. Uh, it's a little more affordable for people to live. And we're starting to see quite a bit of uh, a bump from that, and Hydrat's a good example of that. We're helping them by uh, 
uh, working to pave 60 East, East 66th Street so their trucks can get in and out easier. It helps us too. There's other business out there, our animal shelters out there. There's some re other reasons to do that, but that was what we've been, that's what we're doing for Hydrite. Finally, we did, uh, we talked about three incentives of businesses that are moving downtown, rehabbing old buildings, and that, that momentum continues to build. So there, there's a lot going on. Um, I wanted to give you just a brief update, probably more back into the budget next week. We, we will, uh, uh, we're still doing budget work and I'll catch you up on that uh, next weekend, but, or next Friday. But I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, I'm thankful for each of you. I'm really thankful for your, uh, your notes and your support and your prayers. Um, um, I, just, I love serving as your mayor. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.